Many troops in the field in Iraq are wearing something called shields of strength, dog tags with Bible verses on them to help them get through the hard days on the war front. Fox News correspondent Molly Henneberg profiles one of those men who wore one of those shields of strength and died in battle. Arlington National Cemetery, April 10th, 2003. A soldier from Operation Iraqi Freedom is laid to rest. 27-year-old Army Ranger Captain Russell Ripito killed by a roadside bomb in Iraq. His father, a Vietnam veteran, says his son was a man of quiet strength and faith. These are the things that were on Russell's body when he was killed. His cross, his two dog tags, the shield of strength. A shield of strength. It looks like a regular military dog tag, but on one side it has an American flag, and on the other it has a Bible verse, Joshua 1.9. I will be strong and courageous. I will not be terrified or discouraged, for the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. It's given to those who have faith in the Lord to remind them, to strengthen them, because of what it says. What it says also encourages Lieutenant Colonel David Dodd. He's home with his family now after tours of duty in Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Iraq. His whole family has shields of strength. Dodd's wife keeps hers on her keychain. They say the shields give them a sense of peace. For me, it was comforting knowing that my kids had a, uh, another source uh, of strength to lean on when they, uh, when they were worried about me and that they could, uh, through the shields, they could think about God and they could pray for me. And, and that's how we kind of stay connected. Kenny so Vaughn is the man behind the shield. Like the world-class water ski jumper right. went through a difficult well, time in 1997. Strong. Some bad jumps put him in the hospital, and he says his mind was plagued by fear. So Vaughn's then-girlfriend, now wife, wrote Bible wow. verses on his ski wow. handle to embolden him. I jumped 11 feet further than I'd ever jumped in my life, and I won the Nationals. And, and I wanted a daily reminder after that. And that's why uh, I started putting them on the dog tags. And giving them to friends and selling them at Christian bookstores. Soon, Shields of Faith got the attention of the military. What started out as one man's pet project in Texas has seen explosive growth, with some 200,000 members of the U.S. Armed Forces now wearing these shields of strength. And President Bush even mentioned them in a speech on Memorial Day. In that same speech, the president also paid tribute to Captain Ripito. Russell Ripito served with distinction in Operation Iraqi Freedom, earning both the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. On the back of his dog tag were engraved these words from the book of Joshua. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Before the ceremony, Captain Ripito's parents met with Mr. Bush. Before I could utter a word, he said, Ripito, do you happen to have one of those shields of strength with you? He gave an extra one to the president and kept his son's original shield of strength, a tangible reminder of his son's bravery and faith. In Washington, Molly Henneberg, Fox News. The Pentagon.